What is going on, everyone? We all know that the Eagles are traveling to Green Bay on a short week, and it seems impossible. And if you ask me, Broads, do you think they're going to win the football game? No. No, I, I don't. I do not think they're going to win the football game. But the NFL is nuts. The NFL is crazy. And there are so many times where you think one team's going to win and the other squad wins. We just watched the Detroit Lions come into the link and take us down on Sunday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's not a thing. That's not how it works. The NFL is crazy and there are so many wild stories. Is it possible? Sure, absolutely it's possible. We're not a dumpster fire team. We're not the Miami Dolphins going into Lambeau and having zero chance, right? We don't have a 0% chance. But do I think it's going to happen? No, I don't. And I understand that Alshon's back and that's big for our weapons. And that's big for Carson Wentz. I don't know if that's enough. Kamen Grugier Hill's back, sure. But, you know, see up the game speed to have to go into Lambeau and play Aaron Rodgers? It is a, a tough, tough, tough thing to ask for this team to go in there and win. I got something that's not so tough to ask. Take my free money. Will you please take my free money? I can give you $20 for free. Just use the promo code BRODES at SeatGeek's checkout when you are purchasing tickets. But let's talk about this. Now, before we dive into this Green Bay Packers game and and what some of the storylines can be. I want to throw this out there because I heard Sal Pal Antonio talk about, about this stat here. Carson's drop percentage rate this past week was 19%, highest since 2006 for the Eagles, and highest in the NFL in the last four years. That is saying something. That is saying so much. But let's dial back to this football game. We should be able to run the football on this Green Bay Packers D. Yes, it's a good D because in terms of what the Packers have had over the last few seasons, they're on the uprise. But this isn't the Bears. All right, it's not. There's better defenses out there. This Eagles team has seen over the last couple years defenses that are better than this. It's a good defense. They're at home. They're going to have some energy. But they're beatable. You, you can run the ball on this defense. It's not impossible. And that will bring up the argument of Jordan Howard, Miles Sanders, and, and, and that, of course. And Brian Baldinger had a, a video up on his Twitter account. He does the Baldy breakdowns, and it's Jordan Howard not hitting a specific gap. And you can, you can see that Jason Kelsey was involved as well with his block that could have messed things up. But th that's one of the things that I've mentioned. There's a reason. There's a reason why they don't love Jordan Howard. And there are times where he leaves yards on the field, where he should be able to hit that gap, where he should be able to gain more yards. And instead, it's, it's not as powerful as it should be. But it's better than Miles Sanders dropping the football. Now, you're going to have to play Miles Sanders, and his versatility is unbelievable. You just got to make sure the guy doesn't fumble. He has to find a way. For him, professional athlete, he's on an NFL roster now, he needs to realize he can't fumble the ball, and he, and he has to do that. He has to make sure he grabs that ball tightly and not fumble it. But we should be able, as an offense, to run the ball, to put some drives together. And that'll open up a lot of things. Now, Deshaun Jackson not going to play, and it sucks because when you use that run game, you use play action, you can use someone like Deshaun Jackson to get over the top of the defenders like we saw in the first week. You're not going to have that, but having Alshon Jeffrey is big. I don't know if it's big enough, but it is big because at least you have someone where you know they can catch the football. The Lions took away Zach Ertz. Who else did we have? Nelson Aguilar, the guy who's dropping the ball. Matt Collins, J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. Take away Zach Ertz. Double team him. Do what you want. Well, now there's Alshon Jeffrey. And he's still battling through that injury. It's not like he's 100%, but he's going to go out there and, and ball for the, for the Eagles. So, you know, we obviously need that big time. Jim Schwartz. I'm very interested to see how he elects to play this game out. Yes, he has a lot of cushion. When our DBs are off of the wide receivers. But with Aaron Rodgers. And there's a reason why he's doing that by the way. There's a reason why he has so much cushion. Because he doesn't trust the DBs. 
And do I blame him? <laughs> this is the thing. We all scream that there's too much cushion. You put him up by the line of scrimmage, and then they get toasted even more than they already do. And then you're screaming that we're too, uh, too pushy at the line of scrimmage. It's similar to the blitz argument. But we're, we're going to have to. I would assume we are going to play with cushion. Because your mindset has to be, you can't let Aaron Rodgers shred you over the top. Keep everyone in front of you and, and bend, don't break. That's what we've been playing over the last few seasons. I would expect Jim Schwartz to go with that type of attitude once again for this game because you know with a flick of the wrist, Aaron Rodgers could send the ball 85 yards and it could be a touchdown. I would expect that to happen, especially with Sidney Jones being in the mix now with way more minutes because of Ronald Darby's injury. But I am very interested to see. He's been very aggressive. The most aggressive I feel like he's ever been with sending the blitz, sending the house. If you send the house on Aaron Rodgers and he sees it, because one of the things we don't do very well when we blitz is disguise it. So if Aaron Rodgers is sitting there at the line of scrimmage and he sees all these people coming towards him, he's going to audible instantly, bang, do what he needs to do, and they're going to score a touchdown. So I want to keep an eye on the way that Jim Schwartz elects to play this thing out. Ben don't break might be the best. I mean, yes, they're going to put some drives together. They're, they might run the ball a little bit. They might use some clock and get down to where they need to be but if we can stop them and hold them to a field goal you might have to go with that mentality against this offense with our cornerbacks and and our defense it might be the best way to play this out so how is Jim Schwartz going to do this you got to keep in mind that Aaron Rodgers is phenomenal and I mean elite at hard counts and getting guys to jump off sides so this defense better be prepared because it's going to happen, and it's going to happen a lot. And Aaron Rodgers is a stud in terms of making defenses jump. It's crazy. And I'm sitting there watching TV, and I hear it through the microphone. It's like, <laughs> I'm jumping. What? Oh, he didn't like the ball. So these guys better be disciplined up there. And speaking of up there, Fletcher Cox. He's up there on the line. We got to see something. We got to figure something out with this defensive pressure. This, this Packers squad, they have a lot of mojo right now. They have a lot of confidence. They're at home in Lambeau. This is going to be so brutal. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But the one thing with the Eagles, they embrace the underdog mentality. Over the last few years, the underdog, we've seen it with the Super Bowl. We saw it last year. The underdog mentality. They're already talking about it again. And to be honest with you, I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. But they already mentioned again, no one believes in us. No one thinks we can do this. You know, I, I'm, I'm bored and annoyed of that outlook. But for some reason, this Eagles team for the third straight year embraces it. Let's see how much it really plays a factor. Because they know. Okay, 1-3 and three is tough. 1-3 and three is brutal. Playoffs. Playoffs? If we're 1-3, and three, what's the mentality then? So, maybe because they know their backs are against the wall and Green Bay, you know, they're 3-0, they're comfortable. I'm not going to say they're going to lay down and die and the Eagles are going to walk all over them, but maybe, you know, if I'm going to... Throw out an option that's possible that we have a little bit more surrounding us because we know our backs are somewhat against the wall here in the first month. Who knows? But the NFL is fluky. So many wild things happen. It's not the craziest thing in the world to see this team go in there and win. But if I was a betting man, I probably wouldn't bet the Eagles. And this can just be a, a really, really tough first month of the season if we don't get the job done, but I'm very interested to see how Carson Wentz is going to play. I'm very interested to see how Alshon changes the offense. What's Doug Peterson going to do with the run game? Is he going to pound Jordan Howard and pound Jordan Howard through that offensive line and find some rhythm with the offense and put some drives together? Are we going to utilize Miles Sanders once again, Darren Sproles? How's Nelson Aguilar going to do? Is he going to catch the football? I'm very interested to see all of it, all of it. This is a test. I mean, this is a true test. What is this team made of? We are 1-2 going into Green Bay on a short week. Now, Doug Peterson has a great record on short weeks. Yes, he does. But this is another level. This is Aaron Rodgers with a defense. This is in Lambeau Field. Now, I just want to throw this out there. I want to go there so bad. 
If there's one stadium that I really want to go to, I want to go to Lambeau so bad. It's so historic. It's so iconic. It's so, you know, when you think of football and you think of the cold days, December games, I think of Lambeau Field. I think of old highlights where the quarterback's breathing and you see his breath out there. It's freezing. Maybe they're playing the Chicago Bears. Places going nuts. Like I would love to go to Lambeau Field. But who cares about where I want to go? The only thing that matters is the Eagles trying to win this game. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I will see you next time.